But what I want you to do is settle into yourself and settle in, focus inward to your inner landscape, your inner energetic landscape. And just take note of how that feels. So I'm calling this a feeling state. And it may or may not have a shape. But as you tune in, as you tune in, and as you're breathing, you may start to notice your physical body wafting as the breath arrives and returns, wafting up and on the inhale and settling back down on the exhale. Um, you know, when you're making the bed and you lift the sheet up and it floats back down. Oh, and as you kind of continue in this inner landscape, this inner feeling state, you may think about those sheets maybe on the clothesline, the sheet, putting it on the bed and letting it float down. There's a freeness, there's a naturalness, the sheet and the air as they interact. And you can use this sense of freedom as you inhale and exhale. And you may notice that this interior space softens a bit and it may have a sensation of enlarging. So as you sit quietly and just breathe, inhaling and exhaling, breath arriving and returning always without effort. You find this inner space. And I'm going to invite you when you do this on your own to take as long as you need in this moment. You can hang out here as long as you like, but there's another part to it that I'm going to talk about now. When you're from this place internally that really has no physical limits, I want to see if you can start to connect with that low level hum. And we're going to go up to that low level hum. And go as close as feels as you feel you can. Um, what I want to do is to kind of connect with the resonance of that low level hum. And in order to neutralize its power. I'm going to invite you to match your resonance with it. That doesn't mean you have to become it. It just means that by hitting that resonance in your own self, you neutralize it. Think of it like those Bose headphones, the noise-canceling headphones. They match the resonance so they cancel one another out. It's like that. So first you find your comfort. You find your interior openness. You then go to that place of low level hum that is discomfort, that is dissonance. And use your own resonance to match it in a way that neutralizes this is not a fight. 
This is not vanquishing. It's about harmonizing in a particular way. And you approach as close as you can in any given time that you try this to that low level hum. And don't worry, some days you may get closer, some days maybe not. You may find that you get closer with practice. And you get as close as you can and you stay with it as long as you can without overextending, always in control, always safe. And when you finish, so you may do your physical hum here. It, you'll find the pitch. And you may, if you do a physical hum, you may start to feel that a different pitch may hit different areas in your body and you'll know when you hit the right resonance. You'll feel it. You may feel it in a physical way. And if you don't, not to worry. Don't worry about that. You can match this resonance silently in your feeling state. We work through our senses, we receive information and we express through our senses. So one's not better than the other. Go with the ones that work for you. If you have any questions, let me know.